Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I am going to be remaking from seven months ago my Honkai Star Rail enemies tier list. That's right, seven months ago, the last time I made a uh, enemies tier list. It was June 30th, 2023. And here we are, almost in March of 2024, and we are a Cool. We're at the start of Panacone. We we're in 2.0. Back then, we were in like 1.0, maybe 1.1. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure 1.0, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right, so let's get into it. So first up is going to be uh, let's uh let's go with some pretty obvious ones. I think that the deer is pretty high tier. I really like the deer. I'm probably gonna put it in S tier. Um, no, maybe A tier. I think that the list got a little more difficult because I believe that some better units have been added. I think that the monkey and then, uh, the other version of the monkey, wherever that is, just the different art for it, basically. Yeah, this one right here are going to be an A tier. These are pretty fun. They can be challenging sometimes. It depends. Uh, in the next kind of tier, I'm going to put things like like this dude here. Some of the larger units, I, re I do like playing against this one. I like how he can uh, lock down your units. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, some of the elites in the game are going to be going there. Obviously, version of that. Um, this guy, of course. Or is, am I wrong with this guy? Uh, this This one, definitely, for sure. Uh, is going to go there. Um, something that I love S tier is going to be these little boom bots. You know why I love the boom bots? Because they go boom. And then they make the enemies go boom whenever I kill them. Uh, so that one, the fish, they're going to go up there in, in S tier. Banger. Banger. Banger, of course. Um, Let's get some other characters out of the way. Let's get a uh, let's get some man. Uh I need another I need another row. Let's add a row above. Let's make it like pink or something. Um S plus. This is like this is just the top tier. Okay. So I have made a decision to change these around. Right, I th I think I think that this is fair. I think this is fair. Okay, so Argenti, some of the characters are probably gonna be finding themselves here in S tier. Uh, I believe. I I just think that whenever you're playing against actual characters in the game, so it's, uh, it's it adds a level of excitement. It's pretty fun. Even Kokolia, who is not in the game, but um, yeah, they they're gonna go up there. This boss lady here. Uh, I'm a fan. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, where's Farog? Farog is one of my favorite characters to to uh, match up against. I really do like playing against Farog. Um, I think he's really cool, and I also like Kafka. Where is she? There she is. I think definitely S plus tier for them. Uh, this unit is just, it just looks cool, so I'm gonna put it up there in A tier for sure. A tier unit. Um, honestly, Japard is just a health sink for me, in my opinion. I think he's actually gonna come down to A tier. Uh, he's pretty whatever. Um, now, this is the higher stage, this is Kokolia, and then this is the higher stage of the Kokolia, I'm 99% sure, right? Um, I think regular Kerkolia can come down here, but I check Kerkolia can definitely stay up here um, as a crazy good boss. Uh, next up, I'm going to put this in hate. This one, the, the guy who shields your, your team. Hate him. I hate him. Um, this one kind of same as the other ones. Uh, I think just all the elites. There's no elite that particular. Okay, well, if there is, we'll we'll get to it. Believe me, but I don't know if there's any that really really stick out to me. Um, 
Okay, I honestly don't remember fighting this thing. No, 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 I do, I do, I do. Um, I would put this in probably A tier. Probably an A tier fight. Honestly, Japard just comes down here. J Japard just comes down there in terms of fights. I, I don't like him as much. Unching summons his swords it with like the, the question mark resist uh weaknesses, and I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Definitely gonna stay up there. Um this lady for sure, just go in there with the other elites. Um, this dog is cool. Well, this dog is cool. Um, I like it because it's a dog, but like it looks cool. So I'm gonna put it in A. For the same reason I'm putting these dudes in A. Um, I like that these dudes go boom though. So you know we're definitely gonna keep that there. Um, some of the swarm, I find really really fun. Just put the yeah, none of the elites really really stand out to me. I'll I'll let you know which ones do. Now it's just like I don't really care about some of these units. Let's put let's let's put the rest of the units, the ones that I don't really care about, down here. Um, I just think they're so whatever. It's not even funny. This boss right here, I put pretty low last time. Um, I think it's cool that you have to fight the hands and fight the thing in the middle. It's whatever. Uh, it definitely takes like some of the longest out of like. The, uh, the fights whenever you're farming it. Is it the stagnant chat or whatever they're called? Whatever they're called, where you fight the end map bosses. But honestly, I'd, I'd put it in the S. I don't know what I was thinking before. I think it's better than that. Sam? Sam is an S plus tier fight. Plus, I just love the character. I also really like Argenti, so I'm going to put him up there too. I think Bronya and Yanqing stay where they are, but definitely Argenti's up there. Uh, yeah, some more mobs that just I don't really care about. How can you care about them? Um, they're just kind of whatever. Some of them look pretty okay, but they're so basic, honestly, and like they don't look cool enough while also being basic to be anywhere that but honestly in D tier. Okay. Uh, the bugs, the bugs are very basic, but the thing about the bugs is I actually really like the bugs. They also explode whenever they die. I think I really like the bugs. I like the bugs. Am I wrong for liking the bugs? I do. I, do. I like the bugs. They are cool enough to me. They're interesting. Now some of these other mobs, I mean, just get them out of here, man. These ones I like because they look really cool. Um, I like them probably a little better, but I'm not doing a left to right. Hopefully I'm not putting any elites down here in D tier. If so, they're so unmemorable that that's where they're going. So like, Hey, I like how I put the dog, the doggo from Panacani up here, but I didn't do that for the other dogs and I didn't do that for any of the other elites. And the reason for that is because the dog from Panacani is dank as fuck. He's cool. He's based. Now, T-Rex with a chef hat, what are we even talking about here? There is no way T-Rex, mechanical T-Rex with a chef's hat, is not S plus tier. If you disagree with my opinion, you are wrong. At least on, on this one, right? You, if you disagree, you're wrong. All right, respectfully. Genuinely respectfully. Okay? And then... Uh, the bugs, the big swarm bugs, I really like. I especially like the big, big daddy, right? I, I just think swarm is one of my favorite additions to the entire game. I love playing swarm disaster. Uh, it is so fun. I think that honestly, all of them make great bosses. I, I really do genuinely love them. They are really cool to me. Really cool. Um, you know what, to, to keep the S plus as prestigious as it is, I think I'm going to move these two bugs down to S tier and just keep the super bug up here in S plus tier. Speaking of super bug, I actually don't know what the hell this is. The void reaver, this thing, that fight is incredible. I loved it. Uh, ending 2.0 with this fight. And then also, was it this fight or Sam that ended 2.0? Either one, either one, both of them are really cool. They're both S plus tier. 
So was the tier. I mean, Panacone brought so much good to the game. For real. But also playing against uh, the Void Reaver in... I think that's what they're called, right? Whatever it is. The, the Void purple looking thing. The thing that uh, can imprison two of your allies. Two. Um, at once with one attack. That is really cool. That's really cool. Um, that additional challenge is what makes me like Kafka and Svarog too. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I just think it's so cool and having it as a part of the MOC is so amazing. And as per usual, Warp Trotter is the best unit in the game. Okay, now for the sake of S plus tier being super. I mean, like, do I, do I have to, like, you know, how much do I have to talk about this? It's just the coolest in the game, right? Actually, before we do that, let's, uh, let's sort out B tier and spread it to C tier, okay? So these are some of the elite units I don't like as much. All right, we're going to put them down here. Either they're copies of something else, and I just like the other one's designs more. Or I just honestly don't feel anything when they, when they come on the screen. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the Bellabog designs of units, the, the really, like, basic ones, I would say are just the worst by design, in my opinion. Um, I actually do like these ones, which were in the game. These are Bellabog-themed units. They were in the game, and they're still remaining in B tier. They're still really cool. But I do like the uh, ICP or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I think it's ICP. Uh, and the frozen version of this, this uh, the tank, more than I like the base model of it. Right, And that's the same for Chainsaw Dude. Um, even though he doesn't really have... I mean, I guess this is the next Chainsaw Dude. But I don't really feel anything when Chainsaw Dude comes on. Um, yeah, it's the same for for this thing, the the single target slapper. I just like the green one better. Uh, from the Gen Gen Jiao Alliance or the Luafu. Oh my god, man! I cannot say that. I can't say. It. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, what I was gonna do is to make the S plus a little bit more prestigious, you know, and feel a little bit more prestigious. We are going to rank them left to right. Left being the absolute best unit in the game. Right being uh the still s plus but least best s plus unit okay so here's the order it's going to go in right and this is to actually play uh this is just i don't know i really don't even know what i'm going for here um yes yeah, so let's just let's just get it let's get it uh this okay warp trotter best unit in the game Warp Trotter will never not be the best unit in the game. Am I wrong? That's right, I'm not live streaming, so you can't directly tell me if I'm wrong. Therefore, I'm right. Therefore, I'm right. What I say goes until uh, a comment is posted. And therefore, I am objectively correct. Uh, and then, the purple dude. The, the purple void thing from the end of 2.0. Penacony. And also... MOC, awesome as hell. Uh, that is going to be my second favorite unit in the entire game. Second favorite enemy in the entire game to fight. Big, big daddy bug. Big daddy bug. 100% takes uh, uh, number three. It's a big gap between the first two and this one. Uh, and then we got Svarog. I think Svarog has always been one of the coolest characters in the game. And no matter how outdated Bellabog characters get, the Bellabog story will always be one of the best stories in the game. I think in terms of how I would rank the stories right now, I'm not going to do Panacone because it just came out. We only got a little bit of it. But so far, Bellabog is still my favorite story in the game. So, um, the, the Zhenzhou Alliance did not beat it, right? The, the Zhenzhou Alliance. Oafu did not beat it. All right. And then T Rex with a chef's hat. 
You're gonna tell me T-Rex with a chef's head isn't top five units in the game? Come on. You're just being delusional. Alright. Uh Kafka, because her fight is cool. Um she was in floor twelve of MOC once or twice before. Uh she's a very challenging fight when you know her numbers you know, make her a challenging fight. I, I just believe that she is a challenging fight in general whenever I'm against her. Uh, so I think she's a really cool unit. I really like her. She deals a lot of damage, AoE and single target, and then also can dominate one of your um, allies and then make them hit uh, their, you know, their, you know, she dominates one of your units and then they attack their allies. And I think that that's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, Sam. Sam, I think, is... I'm waiting for him to become a playable character. I really hope he does become one and releases with his own banner. I think he is super badass. I might be a little high on him right now just because I'm excited to play with him. But I thought that his battle at the end of Pentaconi was amazing. Fantastic. And a part of that, yes, to be fair, was the trailer. And uh, But, like, his animations are insane. His animations are fun. I think the fight is fun. Uh, Argenti, because he's beautiful. Do I have to say anything else? No, I just like the Argenti fight. I think um, he's pretty cool. I liked him whenever he's the final boss of Pure Fiction of the uh, floor four of four. Floor four of Pure Fiction. Uh, he was he was challenging there. I liked him, um, and I just like him as a boss. I think he's a cool boss. Uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, this is one of those videos where the more, uh, units they add to the game, the longer this tier list is going to take to make. But I really tried to cut to the chase and just, if I feel like a certain group of units go somewhere, I just dish them out into that area. And that way, if I don't have a lot to say about them, just like, you know, all these D tier units and some of these C tier units, then I don't talk about them very much. Right. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Peace. Subscribe. Most of my viewers are not subscribed, so please subscribe. You won't be disappointed. You might be disappointed.